I've known the hospital from a very young age because my father uh, started in the hospital as foreman baker. From the age of about four, four year old onwards, um, I often used to come back and forth to the hospital uh, and sit in the bakehouse with my father and, and help out. It'd be hundreds of patients on the corridors in various positions, lying down, standing up, smoking, drinking tea, chatting, sweeping the corridors, some of them. Huge, so busy, unbelievable. Like a village, it was exactly like, like a village. Facilities of a community. Uh, it had it's a shop and cafeteria. It had hairdressing salons, male and female. Tuesday morning, beef stroganoff and rice, which you cut the beef, make the stroganoff, serve it. Roast turkey dinner. Um, vegetable pancakes with tomato sauce, we'd make the pancakes in the bakery, we'd have to cook them on the griddle, make the filling, sauce, everything completely made from scratch, uh, macaroni cheese. cinema, his own proper projection room uh, at the back of the hall. I booked a group uh, to come and play a concert you know, when, when you're coming up to Christmas. Um, I can't remember what year it was, but I booked the group and it cost us a uh, hundred, hundred pound for the night, which seemed quite a lot. Um, but we booked them some months in advance. And then about a fortnight before they would do the concert here, they actually won the Eurovision Song Contest, <laughs> Brotherhood of Man. Uh, so they came and did the concert here. Quite often you walk in the room and you think you're on your own, but you turn on, be a patient standing in the door sitting on top of a wardrobe or just sitting there, chilling out. Some of you sitting on top of a wardrobe, looking down at you. You have vast, wide open places, that spaces, no walls separating each room. You'd have a bed, you'd have a locker, bed a locker, bed a locker all the way up one side and down the other, and sometimes you'd have them in the middle as well. Head to head, two beds. You'd have about um, two or three baths on the whole ward, with all impatience. No oysters left, so anything for the staff. Ward six was a 28 bed mixed ward, and that had dormitories in the three dormitories, you had a male and a female, and then you could chop and change the third dormitory so if you had more females than males you could have you had a bit of flexibility but they were all sort of uh, nightingale style wards as the, the sort of years went by um, for instance on ward two all the dormitories were uh, converted into single single accommodation single rooms they were not sweet but they were just single which was good in some ways, because obviously for privacy and, and, and uh, 
privacy and dignity issues, but it, it made the wards far more claustrophobic. Seeing the advert for Live and Let Die, which held the premiere in Chemical Pride, though, having it released in Swansea. The father, obviously, that was the tower where the patients were locked up. No, I said, Mr. Ross, it is the wall to tower, I said. This lady, Jennifer, had told me how lovely it was there, and my father being absolutely horrified that as a young girl of 18, I would come to work in a place like this. My mother wasn't so bad. My mother was more open-minded about it. It was my father, I think, because I was an only girl. Seven children, six brothers and myself. And my father got over the initial shock when he knew that it wasn't as dangerous as he thought it would be. But one thing that put him off was the drive. I mean, to, the thinking of me coming up that dark, winding drive up to Kevin Coyd, because that was something that people, you know, did think, oh, it's, it's quite a, an imposing way to approach the hospital, isn't it? A winding, dark drive. So, but of course, I came here, and I'm still here... 43 years and six months later. <laughs> with patients and have a cigarette in the day room. Um, the men would play snooker with, with, you know, with the patients and cigarette on the side, cup of tea. The day room and dining room were lovely, large rooms with high sea lens, views over the bay. The sun would set right in the middle of the bay window on the ward. And it was just, I just loved it there.